Hello everyone, my second YouTube video, baby. This feels good already. And maybe the most different video I've ever made in my whole entire life. Clickbait? <laughs> no, you're already here. I got a library card. I'm a mother reader now. That's the content I'm gonna do today. Going over books, look at these. Wow. Yeah. Do I have sex still? Let's find out. Okay, I don't. I just read. I get off to so many words. I get off to them in my bed. I get off to them outside. I'm reading and getting off. We got the library card. West Hollywood Library, come find me. Where will I be? In the obituary section. Right in your obituary. Any way I make reading, it's not that cool. But if you're a fan of reading, I'm in your corner now. I'm in your fiction section. I'm in your autobiography. I don't know how to do this, but we're just gonna fucking do it. How do I, these are the three books. Wow. Can you see? I, if you can see, then you can read. And if you could read, then you've read these. Okay. You maybe have it. I don't, I don't know how this works again. Anyways, please like, subscribe, and comment to this video. It's the second video I've pretty much made in the last three years. So we're keeping consistent. Give me a pound. Don't pound me. I may spoil them. I may not. Just a heads up. I also have the horny meter scale. What is the horny meter scale? It's how shriveled I was or how shriveled I wasn't. <laughs> That's a five star right there, baby. I will also be giving a out of 10 rating of the books I've read. If I will recommend them to you, would you like to be unshriveled? <laughs> okay, okay, let's get into it. Let's go over the first book. My absolute favorite book, The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. The Housemaid got me into reading. This was the first book I've read maybe ever in my okay. life. The Lemony Snicket Saga was probably the last saga of books I've read. That was maybe back uh, before the Twin Towers fell. Too soon, sorry about that. 10 out of 10, highly recommended. However, a two out of five on the horny meter. Is that a problem? No, I kept a semi-shriveled the whole time. I don't really have any horny excerpts to read from here. Actually, she was bouncing so hard up and down. She flew through the ceiling and into the sky. Wings began to protrude out of her back as she ascended into the air. Good dick can do that, she said. I'm just kidding. I made all that up. The twists and turns in this book are absolutely perfect. Not gonna lie, there's like two or three more twists at the very end, you thought you were done? Psych, Frida McFadden is double twisting. Wow, she kept twisting that thing. Maybe we'll add one more, yeah, we'll put a three up there. Cause I was unsure. If you don't know how to read, figure it out. We're gonna move on to the next one. I give this book right here a 10 out of 10, a three out of five on the horny scale. And Frida McFadden, thank you so much for The Housemaid. It was a great book. Moving on to the next one. Did we do a transition? We did not. Verity by Colleen Hoover. We already, uh, the stars are, you can stop. The stars are flying on the horny meter. I don't even think I've had a boner this big since the towers fell. I'm gonna stop doing that joke. Colleen, are we okay at home? Verity, it was actually a very good book. Besides the, besides the star, you can stop putting the stars up. I gave it an eight out of 10. I was so untriveled. I gave up porn. But uh, with this book here, I feel like I relapsed. A lot of people don't like Colleen Hoover. I looked it up on Twitter. I saw people burning books into the ground. I think that's illegal. And I've been to Target before and I've seen Colleen Hoover everywhere. And I thought she was banging the manager at all the Targets. The Target CEO? See he, see this hoe. <laughs> Still not cool. I'm not, I'm trying to make books cool. It was very hot and heavy. It would get hot and heavy throughout random points of the book. And honestly, I get hot and heavy randomly throughout the day as well. They made Jeremy, the husband, sound like a psycho, but I think he's fine. Sure, he has a nice I'm honestly a little jealous of it. <laughs> I was wet. Uh, I will even read a little bit, a passage of this, according to the horny scale. So I straddled his face and lowered myself onto his tongue. When I felt his hands grip my ass, pulling me closer to his mouth, my head rolled back for a delicious moment. This is why I moved in with you, Jeremy. Jesus. Fine Jesus. Uh, Verity, 8 out of 10, and a billion stars on the horny meter. Jesus Christ. Uh, did we do a transit? We, uh, I don't know how to do that. The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. I gave this one an 8 out of 10, and on the horny scale, mm, Geneva, <laughs> why are we so dry? I gave it a 2.8 out of 5 on the horny meter. It's okay. I had a medium shrift. I didn't know for a second that they were switching point of views of the characters. Am I dumb? That's rude. I finished this book and it made me feel like a psychopath. More than I heard I am. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil this book as well. If you want to skip to another video, that's rude. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it now. 
The wife? What a fucking piece of shit. The husband is bad. Yes, but stabbing the mistress 37 times, sis? Holy shit. Now you have some triceps. Just a cherry on top. You killed your mom. But then you also banged your coworker and you married him. Weird. You fucked up too. Anyways, I have my wife's take. This one was pretty good, but I have the complete opposite thinking of Zach. I think that Adam deserved getting killed. Why? Because he cheated on her. Okay, but the way that she did it of draping over the husband with a plastic to keep the blood from going everywhere. Yeah, keep a hush hush. That's scary. He deserved it. He was sleeping with, what's the horse, Kelly? Kelly. He wasn't fucking Sarah. The only time he wanted to have sex with her was when he wanted a baby. And she couldn't give it to him because she was so busy with work. And women <laughs> can't have jobs. <laughs> No, they can, they can, but murder over that. I don't know, I think it was deserved. I think Adam is stupid. And I'm glad that he died, sorry. Well, thanks for being here. What would you give this book? On the horny meter or on the regular? On the regular meter. Were you shriveled for this? What? It's a game we were playing. On the horny meter, I'll give it like a one. Book wise, I'll give it a three out of five. I thought it could be a little bit faster though, but justice for Sarah. So. That's fun. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. I don't know what it will be. Say bye. bye.